Hi guys, welcome back. Today we have another Polly Pocket, but this time it's an actual Polly Pocket toy. I got this at the dollar store for $4. So in Canada, it's Dollarama, very similar to Five Below. And it's got an actual Polly Pocket that moves. I am so excited. This is the new version because it has the YouTube Kids on the back with the Tiny is Mighty. I, I am so excited. I remember these in the, I'm going to say late 90s. They were super, super fun and cool. So it is made by Mattel and it is for ages four plus. So let's just get right into it and open it up. I am so, oh, there's a little dog that's moving. Okay, ready? Let's just right in there. These were so cute before. You could use them as jewelry. They were super tiny. These ones are a bit bigger. Okay, there's our Polly. And oh, yes, look, it's got the clip to clip it to your backpack. And let's get this out. I love these. Okay, so here is our little Polly. And apparently she moves. So let's see. Yeah, she's a little stiff. But she does fold in half. Oh, and her legs move one at a time. And does she move her head? No. But her arms also sort of move. Can you see her? Up and down a little bit. And she has, I don't know if you can see this, a puppy face. Look at how cute. And then we have our little clip to clip it to our bag. And it folds closed. Where would we put the clip? I'm going to assume the clip goes right there if it goes through. There. Okay. So there is the clip that you can clip it to your bag and you can carry it around. Does it stand up? No. Okay. So you can't use it as like a Barbie suitcase because it just, it doesn't stand up. That's okay. So it has the nice 3D pop-up Polly Pocket. And there is a little heart there. Yeah, that's a heart with the gold to open it. So let's get this open. Oh, and it opens up so easy. Now before you could, oh, look, it does stand up like that. That's great. So what do we have in here? We have this little dog that moves back and forth. Oh, it spins around. Look at that. It spins around. And then... I don't know what these things are in the glass, but here is their food. So, oh, sorry. It has the little food right there and the little paw prints on the floor. And then on this side, it, oh, it pops open. That's great. There is a little poodle and some more puppies. And is that a bird? Yep. Yeah, and a little bird right there. That is cute. Now, is this supposed to pop off? I don't know. I may have broken it. Okay. Well, the little door opens up too. Let's see if we can. Does it slide? Uh oh. Okay. I hope I didn't break this thing. Okay. It doesn't slide. It clips. Okay. I see what I did. There you go. Now, when you open the door, you can see the poodle. Now, I guess it's going to stand like that. Or you could lay it flat. Let's lay it flat. It's easier to see. So you have your cute little Polly with her. I thought it was a cat face, guys. That's actually a dog face, I think. I don't know. Her little apron says Polly. I like her hair. It's squishy. Look at that. Squishy, squishy, squishy. It's like a fidget spinner. You can just go like this or a fidget toy. Really cute. And she can stand. Yep. She can walk over to the little food. Oh. Sorry. She can walk over to the little food and get food for the dog, but unfortunately, the dog just spins around. That's okay. So she can, I don't know, take the dog for a walk. Yay! These were so cool back when they first came out because you could take Polly with you. So no matter where you went, you had a toy to play with. And they were necklaces and charms. Now they're just things for your bag, but it's still super, super cool. Who doesn't love Polly Pocket? If you don't, let me know. And then she can walk up to this house. Oops. Oh my goodness. And she can open it up. Maybe that's why this thing pops out. 
There. So you can have that there and you can set up the little house there. And that way when you're playing with Polly, she can take the dog for a walk. She can feed it. She can sit in this little chair. Can she stand on these little hooks? She can stand on the little hooks. And then you can take her out of Polly World and she can go check the dog house. She does not fit through the door though. Which makes sense because it's for her dog. She'd have to go in sideways. No, her head gets stuck. Never mind. She can come up here. Now, if she stood on that one, can she stand here like she's standing next to the dog? What do you guys think? Yes, yes, she can. Look at that. She can stand there and look like she's taking care of this poodle. And she doesn't fall out. Guys, that's amazing. These things are so, so cute. I really hope I find more of these. Now let's see how easy it is to put it away. So we'll put Polly there because, you know, we don't want her to slide out. And now we know, oh, there is decor on the back side of the door. If you look really closely, can you see the little leashes and the collars that are printed on the door? Oh, the detail, the detail. Now let's clip this back. Okay, so much easier now that I know what I'm doing. And will it all fold up? And it does look at, oh wait, little opening there. Okay, so pretty good. Right here we have a little bit of an opening, but nothing's falling out. The clip's not very good though. Be careful if you're going to put this onto your bag. So nothing falls out. It's not popping open. If I drop it, yeah, that's actually a really good lock. Okay, let's open it up again. And everything is still in place. Guys, I love this set. I really do hope I find some more. Do you have any Polly Pocket sets or figures or anything else? I know the last video we did was the Polly Pocket Magnet. Very disappointed in that. This one, A+. Plus. I love it. If you can find these around, make sure you get them. They are so much fun to play with. And that is it, guys. I'll see you next time. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Bye.